Sonax offers one of the most extensive line of premium car care products in the world today. And I'm going to share with you some of the really nice products that anybody could start out with to get show car results at their home or in your shop. I'm going to walk you through a process of how to polish your car, starting with visual inspection, feeling the paint, choosing the right product, and then sealing the paint. And these are all some very basic skills or techniques that you need to use to get great results with your car. Now, because this is a daily driver, it sits outside. So the first thing you want to do after washing and drying your car is you want to feel the paint with your hand, your bare hand. And a lot of times the paint will feel very smooth. And that's a good indicator if there's any contaminants built up. And if there are, then you're going to want to remove these before you do any machine polishing. Another way to inspect the paint is with what's called the baggie test. And what this thin film of plastic does is it increases your sensitivity to feel contaminants that your bare hand cannot feel. And again, if you feel little bumps on the paint, this is a sign you need to remove these before going into the polishing process. And a lot of people ask me why, so I'm going to tell you why. A lot of times when you're polishing with foam pads, like you see here, if the contaminants have a strong bond to the paint, the foam merely glides over them. It actually won't remove them. So before doing any of the polishing work, you need to use a mechanical means of removing these contaminants. And for that, Sonax has the Sonax clay disc. Now, what this is, is this is a polymerized rubber surface and it has a, an abrasive in there, this pulverized. So it's not like you think abrasives are scratchy. It's not like that. But what it does is when you glide this over the finish of the paint, it'll abrade off the contaminants and then you can wipe them off. Unlike clay though, they're not gonna embed into it. So you can wash this and reuse it over and over again. And if you ever drop it, you can wash it and reuse it. Of course, with clay, you'd have to throw it away. And Sonex is unique. Instead of a clay lube for using their Sonex clay disc, they actually recommend their glass cleaner. And not only does this act as a great lube while you're removing these contaminants, but also further cleans the paint of any other kind of road film or other contaminants that could be on there that you didn't remove in the washing process before you get to the machine polishing process. So it's a secondary cleaning step as you're claying. After you've removed the above surface bond contaminants, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna visually inspect the paint with your eyes to detect and determine the level of defects that you need to remove. You can use overhead sunlight if it's a sunny day. Otherwise, it's nice to have a good handheld light and the handheld light will reveal the below surface defects like swirls, scratches, water spots, and even oxidation and other blemishes. And it's at this point that you're going to decide, you know, how aggressive that you may have to get to remove these defects to meet your expectations for the finished results you're looking for for your car. If the car's a daily driver, you might want to just get it really good. If it's a show car, you might want to get it perfect. And the good news is Sonax makes something for any level of expectation you have for finished results. And that kind of leads me into their products right here. Now, I have three of their more popular products here for doing paint correction. I'm just going to kind of walk through them. The first one here is called Cut Max. And as the name implies, it's going to cut to the max. So it's typically like a compound. It's going to be for going after your serious paint defects, like deep scratches and deep swirls or heavy water spots. The next product is called their EX0406. And this is what I like to call like a medium cut polish. So if your paint's not too bad and you don't really need the aggressiveness cut of the Cut Max, you could probably start out with the EX0406. And this is their cut and finish. This is a one step. It's kind of a compound and polish. It offers excellent defect removal, but finishes out to a super high gloss. One thing that's common to all the Sonax compounds and polishes that makes it easy for all of us to understand how aggressive or how gentle they are is they use a uniform scale. Now the scale has two rows of boxes or little blocks and the top row will tell you how much cut it has and the bottom row will tell you how much shine it has or how well it finishes out. The Cut Max has a cut of six. Now in their scale, that's as high as you can get and that tells you that's a pretty aggressive compound, okay? But it also has a finish of four. So it finishes out a pretty high gloss and there are some cases on some car paints you could actually start and finish with this product 
It just depends on the paint as paints are different and some finish out easier than others depending on the abrasives you're using. The EX04, as the name implies, has a cut of four and it finishes out at a six, a super high gloss. So that's why I like to refer to this as kind of a medium cut polish. It's not as aggressive as the Cut Max. In a lot of cases, this product will do it all for you. And here's the cut and finish. Now, this is kind of a, a do-all product. It has a cut of five, that's really good cut, and it finishes out at a super high gloss of a five. And for most daily drivers, it's gonna tackle everything you need to do. And that's what I'm gonna show you with this BMW. The two-step approach, that's great for show car finish, or you can divide them up depending upon the needs of the car. But for a lot of people, just to tackle their car and go around at one time, this is more than enough to get them to where they want to have their finish look on their car. So we're going to use the cut and finish. Now, after you've buffed out the car and you remove the defects, the next step is you need to seal the paint. Professional grade compounds and polishes typically are water soluble. They don't offer any protection in and of themselves. That's why you need to come back with another product to seal the paint, to lock in the shine and then lock out everything that would attack the paint, including you know, inclement weather, airborne pollution, whatever is outside that could attack the finish. And for that, I wanna show you a really unique product in the car care world called Sonax Palmer Net Shield. Now, this is as close as you can get to a ceramic coating without being a coating. And what's nice about it is it's easy to apply gives you great shine, is you can easily get six months of protection if your car is a daily driver parked outside and even longer if you park your car indoors at nighttime. Besides all these other cool products, Sonex also makes their own line of foam pads and they have cutting, polishing, and finishing. And basically, you just wanna match the pad to the product and the process you're trying to do. So let me go over the process and show you step-by-step step how to detail your car using Sonax products. So the first thing you wanna do is, again, is you wanna feel the paint. You wanna inspect the paint, and if you detect any kind of above surface contaminants, and these will usually feel like bumps when you feel the paint, then you wanna go ahead and use the Sonax clay disc to remove them. Now, using the Sonax clay disc is really easy. It comes with its own hand backing pad, and this attaches to the back of the clay disc using Velcro. Next, you wanna take the Sonax glass cleaner, mist some onto the panel at a time, and be sure to lay down plenty of products so you have good lubrication. And then take the clay disc and just rub it in a back and forth line over the paint, usually in the direction of the length of the panel or the direction of the length the wind would blow over the car if you were driving down the road. As you're rubbing the clay disc over the paint, most of the time you can actually feel those contaminants as they kind of peel away. The, the way it's gonna feel is all of a sudden, that clay disc is gonna start feeling like it's traveling over the paint very smooth, like it's not really binding up on anything. And that's a sign to you that the contaminants have been removed. And at that point, you can stop using the clay disc, wipe that panel off, and then move to a new area. And I always recommend overlapping a little bit when you move to new sections on your larger panels. And the panels that are gonna be the most contaminated are gonna be the horizontal panels. So that's the hood, the roof, and the trunk lid. Now, the vertical panels can also be contaminated, and you should inspect them, because if anything is in the air blowing around and it's sticky, and the wind blows it against the side of the car, it's gonna bond there. But predominantly, it's the horizontal panels that you need to inspect and be sure to clay if they need to be clayed with the clay disc. After you've removed all the contaminants, the next thing you wanna do is use your swirl finder light or overhead bright sun and inspect the paint for defects. Now, what you're looking for are swirls, scratches, water spots, oxidation, any kind of defect that really kind of blocks your view or, or breaks up the view of a perfectly flat and perfect shiny finish. And the swirl finder light that I'm using is gonna reveal pretty much everything. It's actually stronger than what the sun would be. So if you can make this swirl finder light happy, you know it's gonna look good outside. And usually when you find defects in the paint, they're, they're typically instilled or inflicted in the paint in the same way. So if they're on the hood, they're gonna be on the side of the fender. And a lot of your swirls and scratches actually come from uh, improper techniques or tatty uh, materials like your wash mitt or your drying towel. So here's a tip for you. Anytime you're gonna wash or dry your car, inspect your wash material, your wash mitts and your drying towels, and make sure they're clean and uncontaminated, and you can avoid swirls and scratches in the first place. 
So our visual inspection using the swirl finder light showed us that this car does not have a lot of excessive swirls and scratches. So I'm going to show you how to do a one step polish using the Sonax cut and finish. And this is really great for daily drivers. Plus it's not going to take you all day long since you don't have to do a dedicated compounding and a dedicated polishing process and go around the car twice. Now, when you're using the cut and finish, most of the time you're going to be using this with a polishing pad. So not an aggressive cutting pad, but not a super soft finishing pad, kind of right in the middle in that sweet spot. And that'll be perfect for most cars and most paint. And the way you want to attack a car is look at your larger panels and break them up into smaller sections. You would never tackle the hood of this BMW at one time, like one half at one time. I would break this up easily into at least quarters, usually smaller than two foot by two foot. To use the product, what you want to do is place them directly onto the foam pad. Then place the pad against the surface of the paint and using a medium speed, spread the product out to the area that you're going to work. When you're doing this, you can kind of map out the area as you're spreading the product. And this is going to be a defined section that you're going to work. Then after you've got the product spread out and you've got a nice uniform layer of abrasives over the entire surface, go ahead and bring your speed up and then start making slow overlapping passes in a crosshatch pattern. If you're working a long thin panel though, don't try to make a crosshatch. Just move the polisher in the direction of the panel. In most cases, to remove most of the swirls and scratches, you're going to want to make six to eight section passes. Now, what this means is you're going to move the polisher back and forth until you've worn over that section one time, and that's one section pass. Then switch directions and go over that section a second time. That's two section passes. And so continue doing that until you've gone over that section six to eight times. And in most cases, on most cars, that will have effectively removed all the swirls and scratches, at least the ones that you should be removing. Deeper ones, you tend to want to learn to live with them because remember, you only have so much paint on the car. And every time you buff out the car, you don't want to try to perfect it because remember, it is a daily driver. After you buff out one section, go ahead and wipe the residue off. You never want to leave compounds and polishes on the surface. There's no benefit to letting them dry on the surface, plus they'll wipe off easier while they're still wet, as the polishing oils in them act as a lubricant to help you remove them without marring the paint. So there's a little tip for you. Now, when you move on to a new section, you want to make sure you overlap a little bit into the previous section so you have what I like to call good UMR or uniform material removal. And what that means is you're going to remove the defects equally over 100% of each panel. So when you look at the car, it's going to have the same uniform show car finish. And normally when I'm buffing on a car, I would start at the highest point. So that would be the roof and then work your way down to the horizontal surfaces and then knock out the side panels. After you've buffed out the entire car, now it's time to seal the paint. You've wiped off all the residue, and now we're gonna create that gloss and that shine, plus protect the paint. And this is where the Palmer Net Shield comes into play. Now, Palmer Net Shield is a unique product because it's an aerosol, but before you use it, it's always a good idea to shake the product well. And then what I'd like to do, and this is a little technique tip, the Sonax foam applicator pad is soft, but it's going to glide over the paint real easy if you first dampen it with a little bit of the product. So spray some directly onto the face of the pad and then spray some onto the panel that you're going to work. And you only need a light spray. A little bit goes a long way. And then just take and spread this out using overlapping passes and you can make a crosshatch pattern in about two to three different directions. And you're trying to lay down a nice thin uniform layer. After you've treated one panel, wait less than a minute and then take a clean, soft microfiber towel and go ahead and wipe that off. And here's a technique tip also that'll really help you. Anytime you're going to use a microfiber towel, it's important to first inspect the towel, both visually with your eyes, but also with your sense of touch. Microfiber by its very nature is grabby in the same way that it works great to grab or to pull off compounds, polishes, and waxes. It can also grab onto foreign things like sticks, dead bugs, uh, any kind of dirt particle, and it can embed down into the weave. And if you rub that over the paint, you'll put scratches in. So save yourself a lot of time and headaches. And before you wipe anything off a car, visually and then physically inspect that towel and make sure it's clean. And here's a little technique I like to show people, and it's actually how to hold your microfiber towel. Now, this can seem real simple, and it's not a big deal when you're wiping products off a horizontal surface like the 
trunk lid or the hood. But when you move the white product off the sides, like the fenders and the doors, it's going to keep you from dropping your towels on the ground. And you take and you look at your thumb and your forefinger like it's a clamp. Clamp the edges, then spread your hand out, and then make small overlapping circular motions. And by taking off just a little bit of product at a time, your towel can over come the surface tension between the product and the paint and make wiping anything off easy. When you try to take off too big of a portion of product at one time, the surface tension between the product and the paint overcomes the towel and you don't get anything done. So always remember, little wipes and you'll make it a lot faster and a lot easier to get the product off. You know, polishing your car is really easy, especially when the products you're using are premium quality. It's not that hard. You don't got to be a professional detailer to get professional results when you're using Sonax. To get any of the Sonax products, go to autogeek.com. And for videos like these or how-tos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.